Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a product that I have seriously fallen in love with and I'm completely obsessed with, and that is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. Now you guys know, if I'm gonna fall in love with a high-end product, you know that it has to be good because the majority of my collection is drugstore just because I feel like not a lot of products are worth investing in. So if I do invest in a high-end product, you guys know that it's amazing. So I have three different colors right here. I have diffused light, radiant light, and mood light. And what these are are radiant powders. They're setting powders that kind of mimic different types of flattering lights. So for example, you might think that you look best under or around candlelight, natural light, sunlight, what have you. I'll read you the exact description. It says, a wardrobe of six universal finishing powders that recreate the most exquisitely flattering light. Each powder captures, diffuses, and softens surrounding light with groundbreaking technology. Choose one or more and step into your perfect light. Okay, so I have to show these to you guys. This is the first one, and this one is called Diffuse Light, and it's a pale, warm yellow color. And on the box, it actually says, it's a soft, warm, pale yellow powder that conceals redness and gives skin clarity like a soft ray of morning light. Now, all of these colors can be used with a big, fluffy brush and you could apply it all over your whole face but I actually have specific areas of my face that I like to apply each color that I have so my favorite place to apply diffuse light is actually underneath my eyes and on top of my cheekbones because I feel like it really highlights and it brightens at the same time I also find that this shade has a little bit more of a sheen rather than a shimmer. None of them have like a big chunky glitter to them, but they do have just a little bit of a shine. Not even a sparkle, just like a little bit of a glimmer to them. So the next one that I have is Mood Light and it's a very soft, cool, purpley pink. And the description on the box for this one is a soft sheer lavender pink powder that mimics the, the softest, most forgiving light and reveals your brightest complexion. So my favorite way to apply mood light is really applying this color on the apples of my cheeks and then I kind of work my way back. I find that this color gives a beautiful, natural looking flush. I like to use this on its own or even over a nice light blush. I think that it gives like the perfect, innocent, blushing bride look. And again, this color has a little bit of a sheen to it, but not a glitter, not a shimmer. It's a very soft sheen. If I really had to pick a favorite, it's hard because I love all three of them. But this one, I feel like I'm actually gonna be wearing it on my wedding day, on my cheeks, because it just gives an innocent, beautiful flush to the skin. And the last one that I have is Radiant Light. This one is definitely the most shimmery out of the three of them. So if you wanna use it as a highlighter, I definitely would recommend this one. This one has more of like a bronzy, golden tone to it. And I'm going to read the description again for you guys. It says, Radiant Light is a sun-kissed golden beige powder that enhances the overall complexion with a believable, subtle warmth and also extends a summer glow. Now, the way that I like to use Radiant Light is exactly the same way that I would use a bronzer. I kind of apply it on the majority of my face. I put it on my forehead, on my temples. I use it to contour a little bit. I apply a little bit on my chin and underneath my jawline. It really gives my skin a warm glow and it really does make my skin just look like I have a summer tan. I also want to quickly mention that these powders have no type of coverage at all. They are very, very sheer. They're marketed as a setting powder, so they're not going to offer you guys any type of coverage. It's just sheer pigment. In the demos that you guys just saw, I am using the Ambient Powder Brush, which looks like this. It's flat and it works perfectly to really swipe on these blushes. You're not really supposed to use them with like a stippling brush. These powders work the best with a paddle type of brush, so this one is perfect. This one retails for $35 and each of the Ambient Powders retail for $45. And you can find the whole 
line of these ambient powders at Sephora. I find that these powders really make my skin luminous and glowy and healthy looking without looking very obvious because it's nothing like a shimmery highlight, for example, Soft and Gentle by MAC or the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Those are very, very shimmery, in-your-face type of highlighters, and these give a much softer effect. So if you're looking for that really glowy, highlighted look without it looking like I'm wearing makeup, I think that this would be the perfect product for you. And yeah, I just wanted to share these with you guys. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.